Is the Holy Spirit the Father just in another form? Some churches, like the Oneness Pentecostals, teach a doctrine about the nature of God called modalism, which claims that God is one person who appears in three forms, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But is that what the Bible teaches? That's what we're going to discover in this video as I share a clip with you from a previous live stream where one of my viewers asked me about this and I answered according to the scriptures. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you're new so you get notified about my future live streams and uploads. Now for the clip. So Aditya Bobby said, is the Holy Spirit a different person or is it another form of God the Father? It's a distinct person. It's not another form of God the Father. Many Pentecostals believe that uh, the Holy Spirit is just a, another form of the person of God. But there are a few verses in the Bible which indicate otherwise. One is when Jesus said that the Holy Spirit would be like another helper or another companion. Okay, and it looks like it's going to be around John chapter 14, verse 6, or, or 14, verse 16, sorry. At the top, starting in verse 15, Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you. So in Jesus, calling the Holy Spirit another makes a distinction between himself and the Holy Spirit. And he goes on to call him the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him, and so on. And also, there's another verse in the book of John chapter 17. And not only John chapter 17, but um, other passages and chapters of the Bible as well, where Jesus is praying to the Father. And here it says, Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. If Jesus and Father and the Father are the same person, why is Jesus praying to the Father? That would just be awkward. And in addition, at the baptism of Jesus Christ, remember when Jesus was getting baptized, it says that the Holy Spirit descended upon him in the form of a dove and a voice from heaven from the Father said, this is my son. And so here we have a distinction between Jesus, who was on earth, the Holy Spirit, who was between heaven and earth, and the Father, who was in heaven at the time. So they are three distinct persons. But they are one God in the sense that they are all divine and they are all united in their mission to save us. The Holy Spirit is not the Father in another form. That's a doctrine called modalism taught by Oneness Pentecostals. The Bible makes it clear there is a distinction between the person of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. One event that makes that really evident is the baptism of Jesus Christ. Also, Jesus called the Holy Spirit another helper, making a distinction between himself and the Holy Spirit. Learn more about the nature of God by clicking on the link in the video description and watching my video entitled, 10 Facts About the Trinity You Should Know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and share it to help spread God's word. Thank you for watching and God bless you.